and attempt to refrain from embracing. Attempt to get and attempt to lose. Attempt to keep and attempt to cast away. Attempt to rent and attempt to soak. Attempt to keep silence and attempt to speak. Attempt to love and attempt to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit had he that walked in that very deep earth? I have seen the travail which God has given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in the heart, and that no man can find out the work that God made it from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no hope in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life, that is the last, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of his neighbor, it is the gift of God that we all see. Amen. 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 While you are yet sitting, I want you to join with me in singing oh, another song, please. What a friend we have in Jesus. He is the best of friends. The one who never deceives. The one who never tells a lie. He is reliable and dependable. What a friend.
in behalf of Soralenas and Sister Jillian, Sister Rwanda and her husband, that song is in behalf of your life.
He's a friend, the one who cares and always cares. The second reading is taken from Psalm 19, and I'll read as you wish to. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever before thou hast come the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou hast come. Thou turnest man to destruction, and seest returning children of men. For a thousand years in, the sight, in thy sight are brought as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which burns up, burns up. In the evening it flourishes and burns up. And in the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thy anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in the wrath, we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of four years are three four years and ten. And if I raise them strength, they are four two years. Yet the strength labor of the sorrow. For it's soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of the number? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. The God of the Lord. Amen. 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 Please join with me as we sing the theme. Uh, it is well with my soul. And during this time we will lift an offering, please. It is well with my soul. And what a beautiful thing we could all hear this afternoon say, it is well.
coming again to receive those who are watching and waiting for him. And when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. Just a quick uh, recap uh, for the statements uh, to be made about Brother Bro. And then we we'll have to come. Joe coming to us with the message for today. As you heard his brother has already said much about him. Bro is just a little bit younger than I am. Was born 1945. And he has a name just like me, Charles. His mother's name, very little Charles. As you know, I've already heard him leave the Rose Hill for some time and then lived with Dennis and his wife for quite a while. Bro was just living next door, so Bro is not far away from home. Many times the oil and instructor watched him pass and he would just mumble something out to himself, but he was always joyful. He lived uh, with Dennis and Rhonda for quite a while. In fact, he spent over 30 years with them all. Then he went up to Snapchat for a little while when he passed and left to mourn brothers and sisters and best friend, Rhonda, Edmund, and family. To God be the glory, you have already been recommended for all that you have done and the rest of this history. You will never be disappointed. For anything good that we have done will never go unpaid. Jesus said, I'm coming again with my hands full of the God to give unto every man according as his portion. Stand with me, please, at this time as we receive the messenger of God today. Walker's store. 
He was always funny, always, always a nice person. And he always, he always had a very calm and quiet demeanor. Then we all grew up. Somehow in my mind, Bo remained the same nature. He was always around, always calm, always quiet, always docile, always as though he lived in another world. It would seem that when everybody around him angry or worried or whatever, bro was just bro. He spoke on that voice and I was never weird I was I was never sure what he was saying. And somehow, as we grew older, we passed bro by. Maybe we got a second thought. He was just bro. He dawned on me when I was asked to say something at this, at this, at this, at this gathering. He dawned on me as I started to consider what I would say. That of all of us who knew Bro, of all of us who interacted with Bro, how many of us ever stopped to wonder? Does Bro have a mother? And the father? Who was his mother? And that occurred to me because I didn't know, I just knew bro. I was just told that this beautiful lady was his niece, and this one was his niece also. I never knew anything. So the thought continued going through my mind. Who was his father? Did they love him? Did they cherish him? Did they care for him? How did you feel about him as a child and as a son? Did they want him in a day when kids are not wanted by parents? Who was bro? Have we ever stopped to consider that bro was a mother's son. Yeah. And when we passed bro on the side of the street, when we met bro on the road, when we passed bro on the front of one bro, did we ever stop to think this is somebody's son? Unfortunately, 
We live in a very cussed world. It's a cussed world of comparison. Oh, I'm better than him, and I'm better than her. Oh, my house is better than this one. Oh, my car is better than this one. Look, I dress different than him. Oh, my shoes is different. My shoes is better. And we go along in that line. And in the same vein,
what is God's purpose for my life. What is God's purpose for my life? That is the question. Bro is, Bro has moved on. And God's purpose in his life has been fulfilled. We might never know it on this side of the continuum. But we who stand, who sit here today, we who mourn is passing, we who sit at the place of this transition, the question remains. Valid, significant. What is God's purpose for my life? We live day by day. If you're like me, you went to bed last night. Did you stop before you go to bed to consider the day that went by? If you're like me, you woke up this morning. Did you stop to cherish it is a new day? Give me the hands of God. Ask him. Oh, why you give me another 24 hours? What do you want me to do with it? Or, like the rest of the world, we might have jumped out of bed and we continue with the rat race. I want this, I want that, I want the other, I want this, I want that, and the other. I gotta chase this, I gotta chase that. What is God's purpose for your life? That is the question. The very breath in your lungs right now, the very breath that you breathe right now, is a gift from God. That gift has been withdrawn from bro. That's why he lies there. Have we ever stopped to think the breath and breathing? God has given it to me. For what purpose? For what purpose? Is God's purpose for your life what you have determined it to be? And how about your children? Very often we want them to become what we want them to become. Or, we really don't care what, what let them do what they want to do. But then we say, children are a gift from God. So I give you a gift of a nice shirt. The purpose is to wear the shirt. I give you a gift of a car. The purpose is to drive the car. Our children, what's God's purpose for their life? This is what we wanted to them to be. And even for ourselves. Or is it something separate? Is it something that's hidden in the heart of God Himself that is revealed to those who honestly desire to know it? You can know God's purpose for your life. We don't have to go wrong in ignorance. The Bible says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. We don't have to go around lacking that knowledge. We can know God's purpose for our lives. What we must acknowledge that we do not truly know the power
purpose for growth life, we can be absolutely certain that growth was deeply loved by God. We can be certain, we are certain that growth was deeply loved by God. For the simple reason that God loves everything and everyone that He created. He caused the sun to shine and grow. And He caused the sun to shine on you. He caused the rain to fall and grow. And He caused the rain to he gave growth 24 hours in every day, and he gives every one of us the same 24 hours every day. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Who am I? God loves you. As we commend grow to the Lord here and now, we don't know what was God's purpose for his life here in this continuum. But because God loves you too. You can know what is God's purpose for your life. In our talk school for many years here in the Grenada, we went to the United States, and I've got a bad habit of asking for a show of hands. I wouldn't do that. But if I should ask for a show of hands, how many of us here with conviction can say, I know God's purpose for my life? It is not something foreign, it is not something that has to be foreign. Because God wants to make it known to every one of us personally. As a good father, as a loving father, he longs to make his purpose known to every one of his creation, to every one of his children. And God has made all this necessary provision through his son, Jesus Christ. The demonstration of the fact that God loves you is the fact that He gave His only Son to die for our sin. Yes, our sin. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. You know, talk if there's a simple moment. We are all sinners. Every descendant of Adam, born sin. And our only way out of it is through Jesus Christ Amen. who died for us. We are told that, and I repeat it, that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Amen. Today, as we commemorate Rose passing, here and now, if you want to know God's purpose for your life, you can. It doesn't happen with tomorrow. It doesn't happen with until this evening. Today, here and now, and we get to know God's purpose for our lives by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you receive eternal life. 
and thereby you two get to know clearly and definitively what is God's purpose for your life. So no one would ever have to wonder because you would know I have a purpose not just to make money not just to live in comfort but I have a purpose in my life a purpose that was designed by God at my creation
or by God, through Jesus Christ, and in your Holy Spirit, we come to you today, Lord. We come, oh Lord God, because you have commanded us to come. We come, Lord, because you, Lord God, have said, Come on to me, all ye that labor, and have the day, and I'll give you rest. Lord, we have here this family who have labor, who are heavy laden, and we pray, Lord God, that we give you rest. You promise, Lord God, that you would lead us along the path that you have chosen for us, that you lead, guide, and direct. You promise, Lord God, that as we walk through the valley of the child of them, we shall fear no evil, because you, Lord, you are with us. Because you, Lord, your rod and your staff, they protect, they guide. We pray, Lord God, that through your Holy Spirit, you will touch every family member here today. Every friend of God. You are God. You are the great God of man. You are the sovereign ruler of this universe, Lord. We pray that you will touch them. Bring comfort to their hearts. Give them, Lord God, the reassurance of your love. Lord God, that they would know that you are there. Not as a judge, but as a loving father. As someone they can run to. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for this gathering, Lord. That even now, the face of Jesus Christ will be seen. That even now, the hand of Jesus Christ will be felt. And even now, Lord God, you would move in every heart, draw them closer to you. Lord God, that you meet them at the place of the greatest need. And that greatest need, Lord God, would be a need for you. Lord, we pray that you minister everyone here. And that no one here, Lord God, will leave this building as they came in. But they will leave with a sense of hope with a sense of church, with a sense of belonging, with a sense of purpose. Father God, we just thank you. We praise you. We worship you. We thank you, Lord, that your purpose spread. So we ask the Lord, in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, but now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our service continues at the cemetery, so let us make our way there and undertake us ever to come to close and then we continue. I am told to let you know that there will be refreshments after the coming up, just a couple of steps down the road. So if you feel like having yourself refreshed after the coming down of the body in the cemetery, you can come and have some refreshments. God bless you.
<laughs> I like that. And it's that. You want to get weak? Yes, I'm going to say it. Hello. Ready nobody to go with you? No. Well, I will go with you. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the way to the cemetery now. Can you come up? You got to move further to come out? Mm -hmm. Let me see it on inside still. Yeah, man, no.
So he's from below? Yeah, he's from below. Alright, no problem, no problem. Yeah, this one. No problem, no problem. So where are you going to pass? Pass down? Alright, no problem. Better to pass below. So you better to pass below. better to pass below. below. Jacob, 
And the one in the RC? Yeah. Renwick, four men could do it? Yeah? Go. Facing her, so you, you take him with your left hand. You take him with your left hand. Yeah. I take you with my left? Mm hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Yeah, and no, let's turn. Yeah. So the dumb is going so? Yeah, he's going up first. Hey! <laughs> yeah, somewhere? Yeah, yeah, somewhere. Okay. All right. We need two more men, please! Where am I? Yes, study. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Why so much stupidness? I walk here and make it. So much stupidness. Why walking you? I raise on top of shit. No, I don't see that. I walk in it too. Yeah, yeah. Somebody come in the center. You follow me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody come in. Don't 
Where are you walking? I don't want to cut a crash here. I don't want to cut a crash here. I don't want to cut a crash Yeah, the boy, the boy up in Tulsa come now. Who did I come with? One of the guys up there. Center man, come on. Mind the center. Take that. Which one? Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. One of these days to resurrect every dead, those who die in Christ to life everlasting. And so we pray that you'll comfort your people at this time as we continue to look to you for grace. For we ask this thing in Jesus' name. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, so them also which seek in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are sick. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet him in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with his words. And bear us get ready to do the common peace. For as much as shall please the Almighty God, of his great mercy to set unto himself the soul of our departed brother, who therefore commit his body to the ground. In the true and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, who 
our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change the body of our humiliation, that it may be like unto the body of his glory, according to the might of him, whereby he is able to subdue all things. And we say amen to the word of God. Let us turn to our team sheet and we're going to sing a hymn on them, please. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Jesus is giving us hope to say that he has intended for us eternal life as we place our trust in him. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a morning of glory divine. Yeah. 
Blind mice, eh? blind mice. <laughs> 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 the blind the blind. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Right now. I don't know where to stay. Eh? <laughs> I don't know what to do right now, coach. I don't. I don't know what to do here. <laughs>
on a tout un niveau.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was rather a long copying process, but they finally made it to the end. So I just want to say, condolences to the family and to the persons who couldn't be here. But you're here via the live stream. And, um, well, we know he's resting now, so have a blessed evening. And this is where the live stream of the late. Um, 10 cents or brew will come to an end. Alright? Bless evening, everyone.